All right, so this is my painting booth. As you can see, it's not very, well, it's clean, but it's, I mean, it's really simple. It, there's nothing a whole light, nothing really to it, not a whole lot. I mean, I do have a light here, a uh, good light, because I like to see when I'm painting and what I'm doing. Um, that I don't need, I'll just put that on top here. Um, a paper towel to wipe dirty paint, uh, and lacquer thinner, and the paint that I need, and of course the airbrush and the holder that I have here for it, because I don't like to put it on my compressor, uh, just because my compressor does not fit it. Uh, I like this thing, I, hold, I use that to actually hold it, and I have some toothpicks here to stir paint. But anyway, uh, let's get to it. These are the F4 Phantom uh, elevators, and I'm going to be painting. First, I'm going to be painting them uh, flat black all the way. Uh, just cover the whole thing with flat black, not too much uh, paint because you don't want it to cover up the rivets and the uh, panel lines and all the detailing. But anyway, like I've said, I'm using the Tester's uh, flat black paint that I got at Michael's. You can also get it at Hobby Lobby, just probably your local hobby shop or just arts and crafts store. I've also seen, uh, what's what's that store? Hastings, Hastings sell these things. Uh, so sorry if there's not enough light for you to see. I mean, I'm just kind of working with what I've got. I don't, I'm using my iPhone camera for the video and a camera app uh, and lighting might not be too good. Uh, but before you actually put the paint in your cup or in your uh, airbrush cup, what you wanna do is turn on the compressor, uh, which I have, and I have it set to about 10, 15, 16 PSI. Uh, and I'm putting lacquer thinner into the uh, airbrush cup to actually run it through, uh, just in case that there's any junk or gunk in there. Uh, I just like to run it through and get all that paint that was in there before out of the needle and that little tip just to make sure that my next paint session will not clog up. Uh, and as, as you can tell, I have a compressor with no air tank on it. It's just the uh, Model Master Simple a compressor about that size. So uh, it runs loudly like every second because I'm constantly spraying. Uh, I will upgrade eventually, I don't. I'm not putting in the, the time or the money into it right now because I'm work, working on actually uh, getting my pilot's license and uh, just not, that's not important to me right now. So uh, flying is important to me. Uh, but on my time off, I do like to make models. So what I'm doing is actually just shaking this paint, uh, little paint jar. And then I put about, I don't know, I'd say a few drops of paint, just enough, just to make it, you have, make sure kind of guess uh, and say that it's enough to cover those pieces both of those to make sure that you cover it well and with all black and I like to mix my paint about uh, say 50 50 sometimes even 50% uh, paint uh, or 25% paint and 75% thinner you want it really thin uh, not extremely thin though but you want it pretty thin so it runs well uh, through your needle and it doesn't clog up you don't want it too thin and you do want it having a smooth flow on the uh, as it goes on to the plastic pieces that you're going to be painting uh, so I've stirred it uh, and I'm testing it I think I need more air pressure should be higher uh, there we go might actually be too thin yeah, I think it might be too thin, so I'll need to put more paint in there and stir it up. So putting in more paint, you can always put the paint back with uh, the thinner in there because the lacquer thinner I use to I use to thin my lacquer paints uh, works really well. You can all, I also use it for everything else like cleaning my tools, cleaning my needles, cleaning my brushes. Uh, just because it gets everything off. But be careful with uh, certain plastics because the lacquer thinner does uh, just tear away plastics, certain kind of acrylics, uh, and especially other lacquers. It, it will eat anything through anything. So uh, you gotta be careful when you're doing that. Uh, there we go, now we have a smooth paint flow. Uh, so now that we have a smooth paint flow, you wanna take your piece that you're going to be painting 
uh, and you just want to hold it and you want to I'd say spray about an inch well no two inches two and a half inches away but make sure you don't actually start spraying on the piece you want to start spraying outside so press it uh, outside start spraying and then cover it as you work your way through it so like this I'll go through it and show you uh, so you want to cover it and you want to work a little bit at a time so you just want to keep covering it you want it black all the way you don't want it you don't want any of the plastic seeing through uh, this as you go through it and I actually think I have a smaller needle in there so that's why it's kind of taking forever to cover it but as you can see it's covering it, all, most of it uh, it is a small needle in there so just because I don't have to want to transition to uh, uh, the next needle I might even need the air pressure higher on this and it's freaking hot on out here it's pretty hot now I have the air pressure to about 18 psi uh, It's hot out here. I live in North Idaho, so it's pretty warm. Dang, why is it not? Uh, this, I'm spraying, but it's not spraying very well. I don't know why exactly. I might need to stir it again. Or clean the tip with a Q-tip. So the tip, if, if it doesn't spray very well, you might want to clean your tip. Uh, with a Q-tip, your airbrush tip, and run some paint through it. Make sure it bubbles, uh, and then get right back at it. There we go. Now it's spraying nicely. Probably, as you can see, it's bubbling up. I mean, dusting, sorry. So now that we have this site painted, you want to just leave it aside, and you want to get your next one and paint your next piece. Uh, so just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But just like that. And you want to cover it all. Make sure it's all covered. And do not touch it. Dang, it's uh, smoky in here. I may have to open the door. Uh, but the thing is the, the, air, the air conditioner is running. But I usually do fast paint sessions, so it should be fine. I, and I usually wear a mask, so this is like the first time. Just because I can't wear a mask and talk at the same time. So now that if uh, now that you have your paint your pieces painted, you want them to dry for about ten minutes, uh, five minutes. We'll do five minutes this time, and when it's dried, I'll get back to you with that. All right, so it's been long enough. Uh, it's been about five minutes, so I'm gonna start spraying again to see uh, just to cover the rest of these pieces. Uh, in a flat black coat. Lower the air pressure, just because we kind of needed to start out high. There we go. And you want to cover it all. You want to make sure that no plastic is showing through. No kind of uh, gray is showing through that. Uh, just because this is also serving as a primer. Uh, so remember that. This is also serving as a primer. Not only a paint coat, but a primer to your, uh, to your piece that you are working with. So there we go, we have that piece done. We'll set it aside and we'll work with this next one. Oh, we need more paint. Uh, I didn't put enough paint in there the first time. See, even I didn't know how much paint to put in there. Uh, I'm usually good with that stuff, though. Because I paint a lot. I mean, I airbrush a whole ton. 
and for those who are new at this, you might uh, you might just want to start out with a lot because you can always put it back uh, and add some thinner in there. Just not a whole lot. You want it thin. I, I, I like the consistency of uh, milk. So, or, yeah, milk. You don't want it. You don't want creamer because creamer is just too thick. Uh, like coffee creamer. I like milk. Milk is uh, fine. And just pick it up again. Uh, paint it. Just finish that coat that you started off with. Uh, There we go. I think it's all pretty much painted. Because you want it all covered. You don't want any part of it showing. Uh, so now that we've got these painted, we're going to wait for them to dry as well uh, for about another, I do 10 minutes because we didn't really wait a whole lot uh, for them to dry for the first one. So I'll just get back to the video. I'll pause it for now and then uh, I'll put it in my room and then get back to the showing you how to finish this whole steps and all the steps for it. <laughs> 